Want to know how easy it is to get started with Meshtastic? Watch and find out. So I got a couple of Helltech V3 boards from eBay. Uh, they arrived in about a week, cost me about $80 in total, Australian. Uh, so I'm going to show you what's in the box, how to set it up, and how to flash Meshtastic firmware onto them. Really, really easy, really quick thing to start up with and not expensive. So in the box we have one Helltech board, and we have some header pins we're not going to use, and we have an aerial which we are going to use. So attaching the aerial to the board can be a little bit tricky because it's really quite small. Fingernails are a good thing for that. Once you've done that, you're good to hook it up with a USB-C cable to whatever device you're gonna use. I'm gonna use the web flasher. Uh, really important, use a proper USB-C cable, not just a power cable. All right, so the aerial's attached. Now we're gonna hook up to the computer. The other thing I got was a little two-piece case, just to protect it, really. We're on the Meshtastic website. We're gonna go to get started and flash firmware ESP32 device and we're going to go straight to the web flasher. I am using Google Chrome. You're going to need a Chrome based browser for this. You're going to need a proper USB cable. You can't use uh, a power cable. That's not going to work. And what we're going to do is go to flasher.meshtastic.org. We're going to select that we have a Helltech V3. We're going to select the latest stable firmware and we're going to click flash. We're going to leave the baud rate alone. We're going to click full erase and install and we're going to hit erase flash and install. We'll select the device that's connected to the MacBook and we'll hit connect. And it's going to go and do its thing. It's going to take about four minutes tops, I reckon. So there we are done, it's taking about four or five minutes, obviously sped up for you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it from the Mac end instead of the board end because it's going to be easier that way. And then I'm going to plug it back in and you can see the first boot. Let me see what it looks like. It's the right way up, that's a bonus. And it seems to have booted up without any problem whatsoever. So I guess what I'll do now is switch to the phone view. And we'll try and connect. Mesh tastic there. What is it going to do? All right. So it's immediately come up with a number on the Helltech V3. So I'm going to put that in four, 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 two, three, three, and pair. Set lot of region. Yep, we can do that. Set a region. We are Australia, and then save, save. That's rebooting the Helltech V3. Subscribe to Mesh. That appears to be it. So we're done. So now if I had someone to send messages to, I could send messages. But we are good to go. So I've got to set up another one, get a friend to do the same, and you can send messages too. So now that we're configured, that's coming up with long, fast, unpowered on there, no GPS, and it's device name 2348. So I'm gonna put it in its little box, I'm gonna set the other one up, and we can do some testing later. A little bit fiddly to do with one hand. So really easy to get going with Meshtastic guys, not expensive, not difficult to do, give it a go.